Oh No by Marina, formerly known as Maria and the Diamonds, was released in 2010 and was added to the Just Dance Mythos in 2012's Just Dance 4. It's from the album The Family Jewels. It has a difficulty rating of 3, but medium in Just Dance Unlimited, and it has an effort rating of low in Just Dance Unlimited, but Just Dance 4 didn't have effort ratings. It has two gold moves. The pictogram color is dark blue. The glove color is light gold. The lyric color is arctic blue in Just Dance 4, but red everywhere else. And it has 155 pictograms. This is the first song by Marina in the series. The two floating mannequins which appear in the menu square do not appear in the original album background. Now let's move on to the song itself. The song itself is, you know, just okay, although it does very much sound like a 2010 song. Like, the turn of the decade really settled in what music would be moving forward, which is why I like the Y2K season that Just Dance 2024 got. Because, yeah, we only got eight songs, four of which being old. I love the 2000s decade because the turn of that decade introduced so much more technology that encouraged a lot more creativity and experimentation. Not all of it was good but the stuff that was good isn't really being replicated today because of how homogenized music has become but that's a discussion for a different day i do and that day will be never because this isn't a music channel this is a just dance channel haha -ha. but nah the song itself is fine although i wouldn't listen to it regularly but in the context of just dance 4 it's really really fun now let's move on to the background of the map the background is a boutique window several comic book expressions read oh and no when the screen zooms in before the dance begins it is possible to see a window with a closed sign to the right of the book window. Two backup dancers appear to be headless, legless mannequins and have white arms. Both wear a light blue dress. See, this is why I like Just Dance 4 so much. They were very limited in what they could do. And instead of just reusing a character or reusing a background or, you know, changing up a background a little bit like they're doing today, they did something simple, yes, but still creative, you know? The Just Dance coaches already look heavily like mannequins, so why not just start a map with a mannequin? And why not have other mannequins, this time without legs and heads, in the background? And also, before Just Dance 2014, they didn't have trio and I am assuming that if they did have trios they would have turned this song into a trio because of the two background dancers I mean what's the point of having a background dancer if they're not playable you know but yeah just like the front of a store window with a mannequin there and just a comic booky oh and no just like going flashing in and out that's simple yes but it's endearing and creative and something that they would not do today. If anything, they would just do what they did with, I wanna dance with somebody and like, yeah, that takes place in a laundromat, but they go all around the place. They go everywhere and it turns into a disco bar. I miss the days when it would have just stayed as a laundromat. And yes, I know that a Jason Derulo song also takes place in a laundromat and that stays a laundromat the whole time. But that is like six years before Just Dance 2024 edition. This background, though simple, you gotta remember this is Just Dance 4. And in the context of Just Dance 4, I'm gonna give it a super. Now let's move on to the appearance of the coach. The dancer is a mannequin who turns into a girl with pink poofy hair with a yellow hair clip pulling the hair on her left back. She wears a navy blue cropped sweater with red lips, light blue clouds, red sequinted pants, and yellow wedges with black heels. Her clothes do change color at some points of the routine. So yes, this is kind of just like, you know, a normal going out outfit, but isn't that the kind of outfit that a storefront would have right there in the front? I mean, come on, go down to your local mall if it's still open and like just glance at the coach store or Old Navy or the Gap and you'll see that they have pretty basic clothes at the front that the mannequins wear and that's perfectly fine. And hey, it makes sense with the theme that they're going for. See, I like this. I'm sorry. I'm very biased towards Just Dance 4 and I'm going to find every reason that I can to praise it. This outfit in the context of Just Dance 4 is great, and I'm gonna give it a super. Why not a perfect or yeah? Because yeah, it could have been a little bit better. I don't like the random color swatches, or you know, it just kind of looks like somebody spilled different colored paints on it, so that's why it's gonna get a super. And finally, let's move on to the gold moves. There's two in this routine. In the first gold move, you punch the air with your right hand and lift your left leg off the ground. In the second gold move, you lower your head and cup your hands over your mouth as if you were shouting. So let me tell you, I've never failed the first gold move, but I have failed the second gold move. I don't know if it's just because I'm bad at it or that the poor tracking of the early games really messing me up but they both come at great climactic parts of the song and they are different than just having the same move that you've been doing since the chorus. I miss these kinds of gold moves that they were special parts of the song instead of just the chorus and I'm gonna give them major props for that. The first gold move is gonna get a good and the second gold move is gonna get a super. Overall, Oh No gets a super.
Do you have any suggestions? Leave them down below and adios. Oh, oh no.